Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number 15. So for this question we're going to try and write each of these as a fraction. So we'll start with the first one here. We have a bracket to the power negative 2 thirds. What we can do here is take the reciprocal of the fraction, so instead of 27 over 8, 8 over 27, but then change the power from negative 2 thirds to positive 2 thirds. When we have a power of 2 thirds this just means do the cube root and then square it. So this is the same as the cube root of 8, all squared, divided by the cube root of 27, all squared. Now the cube root of 8 is just 2, so on the top we have 2 squared, and the cube root of 27 is just 3, so we have 3 squared on the bottom. 2 squared is just 4, and 3 squared is just 9. So this is the same as 4 ninths. Now let's move on to the second one here. So we're going to simplify square root 20 using third rule, so that's square root 4 times square root 5. And on the bottom you need to use the correct order of operations, so do 4 times 10 first, that's 40. And then add 5 to this, so 45. So on the bottom we have square root 45. This could also be simplified though, this is the same as square root 9 times square root 5. If we now look at the top, square root 4 is just the same as 2, so that's 2 root 5 on the top. And on the bottom, square root 9 is 3, so we have 3 root 5 on the bottom. These square root 5s would now cancel, leaving you with the answer 2 thirds. So this one is equivalent to 2 thirds. Now cos 60 is an exact trig value, you should know this one, it's just 1 half. Next we'll have a look at these mixed numbers. We'll first of all convert them to improper fractions, so 2 times 5 is 10, add 2 is 12, so the first one's 12 over 5, and we'll divide this by 5 times 3 plus 1, so that's 16 over 3. To divide fractions you just multiply by the reciprocal, so we'll keep 12 over 5, and multiply by 3 over 16. 12 times 3 is 36, and 5 16s are 80, so we get 36 over 80, and this one will simplify down to 9 over 20. And finally on to the last one. If you find the highest common factor of 84 and 175 you get 7, and the highest common factor of 135 and 300 is 15. So we've now written all of these in a fractional form. To compare their size though we need a common denominator. We can write all of these fractions over 180. For the first one, to get from 9 to 180 we multiply by 20, so 4 20s are 80. For the next one, 3 to 180 is times by 60, so 2 60s are 120. The next one we multiply by 90, so 1 times 90 is 90. And then for the fourth one, 20 to get to 180 is multiplied by 9, and 9 9s are 81. And for the final one, to get from 15 to 180 we multiply by 12, and 7 12s are 84. It's now very easy to see which one's the smallest, so that will be the first one over here, which was 27 over 8 to the power 2 thirds. Next we have 81 over 180, which was the same as 2 and 2 fifths divided by 5 and a third. Then we have 84 over 180, which is the highest common factor one. And then second to last we've got this one, which is cos 60. And finally 120 over 180, which is this one. So there you have it, they're in order, so that's the answer to the question. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.